What's up, my beautiful people? It is your girl, Sophina the Diva, back here again. Okay, so this is literally my third time trying to record this video, so excuse me if my energy isn't all the way up here. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know why. It's been frustrating, and I've had to record this video a million times because technology hates me, okay? Anyway, let's get into this video. So a while back ago, I did a video on what teammates lie to you about. So today, we are going to talk about what coaches lie to you about. I mean, honestly, guys, when it comes to lying, don't lie, okay? Lying is very, very bad. Me, personally, if you ask my friends, my mom especially, because she is, like, my best friend, and anybody in my life, uh, I'm a bad liar. I'm very, very bad. So, what do I do? I just don't lie. No lying. Because if I do lie, I get caught in the lie all the time. Also, it's hard to keep up a lie. It's just so hard. It's just like, ah, oh, when you're just always telling the truth. No matter your reason, but whatever. Hey, it's your prerogative if you want to lie. Do you? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> don't lie, okay? Learn from experience. And I say learning. You know what I mean? Nobody's perfect. Anyway, so we're going to get into number this one annoys the poop out of me when your coach tells you that you have the day off when in reality you don't for instance when it comes to Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that you know you want to be with your family and your friends and you want to spend self-care time you want to spend family time and all that kind of stuff so you think you're gonna have maybe you know Christmas Eve Christmas the day after Christmas off right but switch it up on you and let you know that you actually don't you probably only have Christmas off which is freaking annoying guys yes training work out hard hard work it pays off but guys with hard work you need some days off to rejuvenate I wish they would stop lying about that situation all right guys gather around gather around <clears throat> so I wanted to let you guys know so tomorrow's Christmas Eve and then we got Christmas and then we got the day after Christmas now we will be practicing tomorrow on Christmas Eve and we will be practicing uh, on the Christmas day after okay but on the Christmas day I want you guys to get into the gym and do a workout somewhere some way somehow okay all right good have a great vacation and I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early for two of Fair. We even have to do a workout on Christmas. This is ridiculous. What happened to family time? What happened to self-care? I need a break. Number two. Now this one didn't affect me that much, but definitely affected a lot of my teammates. No shorts day. If you are a gymnast, you most likely know what I'm talking about. So what's no shorts days for all of you non-gymnasts? It's when, you know, we have a leotard. And with that leotard, you wear shorts sometimes to practice. Not in competition, but to practice. And in my club, or one of my clubs that I went to, there was no shorts day on Tuesday. So every day, you could wear shorts, except for Tuesday was no shorts day. So on that Tuesday, you would wear no shorts. But sometimes when you came into practice, and it was a Wednesday or a Thursday or whatever other day besides Tuesday, they would tell you to take your shorts off when it's a shorts day. You know, you never know. Us women, we go through a lot. <laughs> The worst part, like for me, I never wore shorts. The only time I wore shorts was if I was on my time when I got older. Other than that, I never wore shorts, so it didn't affect me until that time in my life. But it was really annoying. It's like, come on now. Um, okay. What are you wearing, Sophina? Ah, uh, no. Today is no shorts day, okay? Um, but today's shorts day. I don't care. Today is no shorts day, so you need to strip. this one we all get annoyed it's in every sport it's in fitness it's everywhere when they tell you last one when reality no they want you to do like 20 million more oh so annoying like i just wish that they would just tell you hey you know do three more in a row okay don't tell me okay last one and then you're like ah do it again do it again do it again granny i understand my last one was bad Okay, I'm gonna personally want to do another one so I can end on a good note. But not if it was amazing and it was really good and you tell me to do more? No, don't lie to me, boo. Don't lie to me. Alright, alright. Let's see. Last one. <sighs> Great. Alright, give me two more. Okay, okay. Um... Awesome. That's three in a row. You know what? Let's make that five in a row. Five? Five. Okay, that's three. I just have to do two more. Perfect. You know what? 
Why not go for the double digits and let's get 10? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. 10? You said that that last one? Oh my goodness. Now this one happened to me personally, so I thought I would just throw that in. So one time I went to a competition, right? And it was very, very bad competition. I fell on every single event. Every single event but one. So out of four, I fell on three. Terrible guys, just terrible. And after the meet, my coach was like, Sophina, oh my gosh, you did amazing. And I was like, what were you watching? I was like, coach, I fell on every event. And she's like, don't worry, but did you see your leotard? Everybody was staring at your leotard. It was so beautiful. So everything you did just looked beautiful. Okay, granted, that made me feel good, right? But at the same time, I did so bad. So don't lie to me, okay? Just don't lie to me. Come here, come here. I want to let you know that you did amazing. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Look at your leotard. And did you see everybody else looking at you? You were like shining bright like a diamond. It doesn't even matter. I am so proud. Proud coach right here. I always have a story for everything. So this one, I'm pretty sure many have gone through. If they've been a gymnast or if they've been an athlete or whatever, and they tell you, you know, back in my day, I competed on a two broken legs or something like that. And you're like, come on now, no, you didn't. Because you have an injury. So they're like, hey, you have an injury, but I used to have an injury and I still did it kind of thing. Like they're trying to do it a comparison. But in this comparison, don't lie to me, okay? You did not compete on two broken legs, okay? That's just not possible. Unless it was bars but even bars you got a dismount so what were you gonna do just land on your butt anyway so that one little ass i remember one time i had a rip now rips hurt very bad guys they hurt very very bad so i had a rip and usually i would get them on my wrist bloody watery whatever but when i was younger i would get them on my hands and on the hands they would become big blisters filled with blood and water okay and huge and it would rip and i remember telling my coach he wanted me to do bars and he wanted me to do a rope climb dude i was like coach like honestly like of course like i want to train and work hard or whatever but is there something else i could do because this really hurts i got a really big rip blah 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 and then he goes and he looks at it and he goes mm, it's not that bad what you just slapped at my rip first of all that is unsanitary second of all that hurt and it is that bad Oh, don't lie to me, it's bad, okay? And you know that is freaking painful. Back in my day, I competed on a broken leg. You know, like that gymnast that was so famous for competing, you know, vaulting on a broken leg? Yeah, that was me, except for I didn't get any credit, you know what I mean? I, I had a broken leg and I competed vault, floor, bars, and beam on this broken leg, okay? And I stuck every landing, okay? So you'll be fine, you're good, you're good to go. Let's get up. All of that on a broken foot. Good job, coach. <laughs> and last but not least, usually I guess it would be fitness trainers, but uh, coaches and health fanatics do this all the time. Food. They lie to you about food, like something being bad for you. Now, for me, I wouldn't say I think I had a personal experience about a coach lying to me about food being bad for me. But I, when I went to the ranch, there was like, you know, different, they're not teammates, but different people that I would go to camp with for national team. And for that camp, I remember one of the girls, her coach told her that eggs were bad for her and something else was bad for her, like all this stuff. Like, yogurt and stuff like that like all this stuff that I'm like that is not bad for you okay granted go to the nutritionist if you really want to know if that's bad for you but come on now we all know it's not bad for you honestly okay let me just take a little bit outside of the whole coaches aspect I remember one time I went to the beach with one of my friends she is a vegan I am not a vegan vegan food is really good honestly and I can eat meat I could not eat meat I'm just like I'm not a picky eater I can really do whatever one thing that I hate is mayonnaise but other than that hey I'm good I'm not picky whatsoever so anyway I was at the beach with this girl and she's a vegan and her friend was a vegan and for me everybody has their own point of view but I don't like it when someone tries to push their point of view on somebody and I don't like it when someone tries to put down somebody else's point of view so we're here at the beach or whatever and they watch some documentary I'm pretty sure you guys know it but I cannot think of the name on the top of my head anyway apparently in that documentary it said that one egg was equivalent to 10 cigarettes 
uh, excuse me, no, that's, to me, that's false. If you guys out there, you believe that, whatever, that's fine. I told them, I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. I was like, for me, in my best shape that I've ever been, I ate a lot of eggs, and I felt good, and I looked good, and all that kind of stuff, so we could agree to disagree, but they kept just, like, harping on me and, like, looking down on me for that, and I just, like, not a fan. Uh, uh, come here, what is that? That is bad for you. That is so bad for you. You know, you need to put clean stuff into your system. And that, that right there is not clean, okay? But that's water. That makes up most of our body. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Please make sure to comment below what lies you have gotten from your coaches or what other lies you may have heard. I would like to know. I know I probably missed out on some, but those were like, really personal kind of to me or some that i've heard or what have you but please make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications follow me on instagram at sophina the diva and on twitter at sophina underscore de jesus i'll see you guys next time